Hey guys, welcome back. It is the video that I know some of you have been waiting for. Um, we are going to let you in on the number one reason why we are moving out of Arizona. So come on, let's go. So if you've been following us on this series, you will know that the other reasons, um, starting with number five, number five was the heat. Number four was the amount of people that are on the trails and campsites and how you just can't seem to find any privacy anymore or any peace and quiet when you're out and about. Uh, number three was just all the people moving here in general. Uh, number two was the cost of living. And the big reveal, number one, is the fact that our quality of life between me, our kids, the other one is with her dad in Minnesota, so I can't really include her in this video, and Ryan's and our dogs, all of our quality of life is going to be so much better outside of this godforsaken valley, and I'll tell you why. So it's a relatively decent day out today, but any other day, uh, we pretty much have to get in our van and drive down to get our mail because it's just too freaking hot in the summer. Um, we would love to bring the dogs with us, but the ground is too hot and not all of my dogs have little booties, so they will burn their feet in a matter of seconds on the hot concrete and the asphalt. So they cannot get out and get their exercise because we can't take them for walks. So for those of you that have been following our channel um, since it started or recently and you've had time to explore our videos a little bit, you know that we love the outdoors, right? That's pretty much why I started this channel back up again, was to share all of our adventures and love for the outdoors. But what really, really, really changed my outlook on moving away from my family, all my friends, everything like that, was the fact that the one thing that I like to do to decompress when I'm stressed, when I've had a bad week at work, uh, when Ryan and I get in an argument and I just want to get out and get away from the house for a little bit, or when I just need some me time, you know, because yes, I'm a parent, but let's be honest, every parent needs a little break from their kids every now and then. Um, the things that I like to do is camp and hike. And when I started to not be able to do that comfortably in my own home state, that was a game changer for me. So my kids also like to be outside. We have a trampoline in our backyard. We have a um, basketball hoop in the backyard. The kids have bikes. They have rollerblades. They have a little bit of everything, right? And in the summertime, those things are pretty pretty much unable to be used, even at night. You know, they can't even go outside at night because it's too freaking hot to go out and enjoy yourself. So not to mention the crime rate and, you know, child predators and things like that. Like that's all a very real thing here in Arizona. I mean, I know it's real everywhere, but it's kind of terrifying, um, some of the child like trafficking stories and things like that, that have come out from our state alone. And I know you have to use caution everywhere, right? But living in a small town is admittedly so much safer. And not only that, but the kids will have grass in their backyard. Um, and even in the winter time, like when it snows, right? Like the kids will still be able to go outside and play in the snow. Like they'll be able to build snowmen, they'll be able to sled, they'll be able to jump off of our deck on our new house that we have. 
uh, into the snow. They'll be able to build snow forts and do all sorts of cool things that we can't do here in Arizona because we don't get snow. We don't even get seasons down here. It's just always brown, always boring, and in the summertime, the sun basically kills you. So another side note is, you know, Ryan is a supervisor for a hazmat company. Um, he works outside all day long. There are some days where he is in the office, thank God, but just all week last week, he spent 24, 48, 36 hour days. Yeah, that means he's working for like, you know, two, one, well, one to two days uh, total, no sleep. Uh, in the sun or even when the sun was down, it was still hot and going into a million gallon gas tank to clean it out because that's part of his job. That's, that's what he does. And so poor guy was out in the sun that entire time and he would come home and literally the minute he would sit down, he was out completely out because the sun just kills you. It just absolutely kills you. It drains you, it dries your skin out. I can't tell you how much lotion I put on on a daily basis, how much, how much water we have to drink on a daily basis to stay hydrated out here. I know it sounds like I'm being like super exaggerated and over the top, but I promise I'm not. So that leads me into my next bit is that my skin is always dry. It doesn't matter what I do. Um, it's worse when I am in the sun for long periods of time wearing shorts. And I actually developed eczema this year. Uh, that is something new to me, like never had it before in my life, but I developed eczema on both of my shins and it's worse when I go outside. So if I go outside and I'm in direct sunlight, my legs right in the spots where there's the eczema outbreaks they start itching something fierce i mean it is it actually hurts because of how bad my legs itch so eczema's right here you can kind of see like the red bumps and then the little scab here because i was itching the crap out of it and so there's the small little outbreak on this leg this was on this one isn't as bad and then this one you can kind of see like the edges of it so it kind of like goes around like this and went up here. And this, when it gets really bad, it gets all like discolored, like a dark color. And again, I've never had that, but now this year I've developed eczema. And the only time that it was actually somewhat resolved um, and not driving me insane is when we were in Indiana and it was humid and cooler. So another thing is that, you know, we do spend a lot of our time outside, right? Like I was saying earlier, and in Arizona, like where we live right now, um, it's a good two, two and a half hour drive before you can get to anything that looks like woods, um, any lake that's not overran by boats, uh, bass fishermen, and just like, giant speed boats alike. Um, the lakes down here in the valley have turned into like party lakes and that's not why we go outside. Uh, and then even up at the lakes on the Mogollon Rim, they are full of people like swimming and kayaking and paddle boarding um, when all we're trying to do is like fish, you know, and relax by the water and, and camp and, and stuff. and. Um, you know, moving up to Indiana, we are going to be 15 minutes from the shores of Lake Michigan. You know, we're going to be, we're going to have a beach within, a beach within 15 minutes of our house. Um, there's lakes everywhere. There's parks everywhere. Uh, we're going to be able to get outside every single day. And it is going to be so incredible. So another thing that I'm super excited about is just all of the things that Ryan and I are gonna have time to do um, and have the appropriate weather to do it in. 
with the kids. So I actually bought this book. Um, I made a quick little book review on it uh, on another video. Um, but I bought this book and I'm super excited to do all these activities with my kids. So this book is amazing. And it basically has, you know, like it says, 60 plus simple crafts and recipes for year round fun. So year round meaning, you know, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, we can't use this book here in Arizona or do fun things like this. I'm not even really sure how it wound up at a Five Below store here in the Valley because we literally cannot do any of these things um, because a lot of them have, you know, like leaves and flowers, uh, certain types of flowers, um, stuff to do in the snow and things like that. And um, we just, we don't get to do things like this down here. I mean, I guess some of them you can, like the recipes, you can pretty much do those anyway, but like some of them you just can't. Like I have no idea where we could get violet flowers for this recipe. I don't know where we could get enough flowers to make a beautiful flower crown like that. You know, we live in a desert. I mean, the most I'm going to find is some weeds and cactus. Like it's just, my kids have said it over and over and over again. It's boring here. There's nothing to do. And I know some of you know that my oldest child, Maddie, um, she actually goes to her dad's in Minnesota for the summer. So she's up in Minnesota right now and she loves it up there. And it's always a fight. It's always a struggle to get her back. Um, thought I stepped on something. It's always a struggle to get her back every summer because she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to leave the grass, the trees, the lakes, the outdoors, like the small town feel of the town that her dad lives in. I've been up there. It's not my cup of tea. It's a little too flat. There's not as many trees in his area, but uh, where her grandparents live, I'm pretty sure the population's like maybe a thousand people, maybe. Uh, it's not very big at all. And it, it's absolutely beautiful in that, in that neck of the woods. But, um, you know, Megan even has started to really voice her opinion. She's seven. And she's even really started to voice her opinion this year about, you know, I can't go outside. I can't ride my bike. I can't do this. I can't do this. We don't have any parks here, like nearby. We do, but it's one slide, no swings, in sand, and the sand gets hot, and the slides get hot, because for some reason, a lot of playgrounds in Arizona, at least the ones out here, aren't covered. There's like one big one, 15 minutes from our house, it's covered, and that's about it. But, um, you know, the kids just basically, when we were in Indiana visiting, they basically lived outside, like, we almost forgot we had children for a little while, to be honest with you, because they were just so excited to be outside all the time, whether they were in the hammock, they were down by the creek, they were, you know, at the park, they were chasing frogs, like stuff that kids should be doing these days. Like they shouldn't be glued to their tablets or their phones or their TVs or their Xboxes or whatever. Like, because at the end of the day, are any of those things going to come to our aid if we got put into like a survivalist type situation? No. So I absolutely cannot wait for all of the fun things that we have planned. I have a laundry list of things planned for me, for the kids, for Ryan, for Ryan and I. Uh, for their aunt and uncle, like all this stuff for us to do. I mean, there's like, there's a Six Flags within an hour and a half of home. How freaking cool is that? Like Maddie's birthday is coming up on Labor Day weekend and we're actually like gonna get to take her to Six Flags if that's where she wants to go. She can't make up her mind quite yet, but like we have options. There's so many things to do 
in the surrounding areas that we're never going to run out of things to do. And people that have been against us moving, family members in particular, as much as I love them, um, they have been against us moving. And, you know, it's going to be hard leaving my family. Majority of Ryan's family, they're kind of all over the place. And, um, you know, some of them are here. Some of them are still up in Indiana. And, you know, so it's going to be, it will be hard. But majority of my family members have been like, you know, you're going to get bored up there. You know, you're not going to be able to leave your house in the winter sometimes because you're going to get snowed in. And I'm like, I don't think you guys actually understand how that is like almost my everyday goal sometimes because I just don't want to deal with people <laughs> and the traffic and everything. So not leaving my house is doesn't sound half bad, um, especially when, you know, you can sit at home and sip on coffee and cuddle up in a blanket, watch a good movie, and it's just cozy. Cozy things are, are my thing and kids' things. And you know what? We can go outside and we can play in the snow for hours and then come in and just relax. And that's okay. Like, I... The goal in our life as a family together is to live in a place that we don't have to vacation from. And we're going to be doing that. And I am so excited. So yes, the number one reason why we are leaving Arizona is to improve our quality of life as individuals and as a whole, as a family, and for our animals and I can't even begin to explain to you how uh, excited I feel and how almost emotional I get thinking about all of the things that we're going to be able to do. And the house that we're moving to isn't even our final residence, right? Like we are going to stay there maybe a year or two at best and then we're gonna buy a house with some property and, you know, have our own little farm and our own little homestead. Um, I'm still, I'm going to pick gardening back up um, when we move out there. And so there will be videos on here about, you know, gardening. And of course we're going to have, I have so many places on my list for our little family to explore and van camp at. So those of you that are here for my van camping and camping in general, hiking, all that stuff, all that content, be prepared because in the next month, like once we get out there and get situated, there's going to be a lot of adventures shared on here. So get ready for that. Um, but there's just so, so many good things that I feel like are coming Everything has flowed together so well for this move, it, for our family, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't be more, more excited. And I'm so thankful for all of you that have joined in here with us on our journey. Um, you have really come in at such a pivotal time, like, in our, in our lives. Um, you know, Ryan and I have been together almost nine years, it'll be nine years in October, um, and we've been married for just under two months, and there's just, it's such a big, big changing point in our life, and you guys will get to see it, all of it, and I can't wait to share it with you. We have such huge things planned for this channel, and, you know, that will come in the next few months. Um, and we thank you guys for your support. We thank you for being there, for watching, for leaving input, even if it's just a thumbs up or a thumbs down or whatever. Like, we, we appreciate you as, as a family. I know that you see me and the girls primarily. Um, you know, Ryan does work a lot. But once we move, you guys will get to see him in the videos so much more um, and I'm so excited to share what he's going to be doing once we're up there and 
He gets to start working back up on his welding and his smelting and his 3D printing once we get up there. And I, I'm so excited for him. I'm, I'm so excited for him, for me, for the kids, for everything that we're going to get to do together to improve on our quality of life. Things that we could not make feasible here in Arizona. So get ready for it because all of it is headed your way in the next few months. You'll get to see. So that wraps it up, guys. I know this series took a little bit longer than I, I would have liked, but there you have it. The top five reasons why we're moving out of Arizona. If you liked this content and you want to see more of our upcoming lives, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that alert button. And uh, we are going to be sharing some videos in the next coming weeks of, you know, what we're bringing with us, um, what we're using to move, if we're using a rental truck or, you know, the rental pods and how that whole process goes, um, what we're doing to the van to prepare it uh, to travel 1,700 miles with all of our animals in it uh, and, and us, like, oh, man. That trip makes me exhausted just thinking about it, but it's all worth it. So that sounds like fun to you, along with additional van camping videos and hiking and all sorts of stuff. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're actually, once we start growing a little bit more, we're going to host some giveaways. So that's going to be fun and you won't want to miss it. But for those of you that have been here for a while, those of you that are new, just watching for the first time, thank you again for your support. We appreciate you. And we hope you have a great rest of your Monday evening. Bye.